In our next example, we have these two nonlinear equations. In fact, because of your work earlier in 10, you know a lot about these. These have both x squared and y squared, so they're um, either a hyperbola or an ellipse. Because both are positive, it's going to be an ellipse, and because the coefficients out in front are all 1, it's going to be actually a circle. So these are two circles that are intersecting with one another. And so two circles intersecting, they could um, they could happen in a, a lot of ways. The most common way is to have two points of intersection. They're definitely not the same circles, so that would be an infinite number, but you could have them touch in one place, right? So there's lots of different ways, but most more than likely they're going to have two, or uh, could they have more than two? I don't think so if they're just circles. But let's go see how many they have. So how do we do this? Well, we do it by substitution, and one of the reasons I picked number 14 is to allow you yourself to allow you to know what's possible. So what's possible is any substitution. So you don't have to solve for x. In fact, you don't really want to in these equations because if you solve for x or solve for y, you'd have a plus or minus. But you can solve for x squared, y squared, or what about, take a look at that very first equation. I'll underline it in blue again. Look, it's right there in the second equation it's right here. You can take that whole x squared plus y squared and replace it with the number 8 and you'll be well on your way to solve this thing. So 8 plus 4y is equal to 0. So 8 is equal to negative 4y or y is equal to negative 2. So these these two things are going to intersect at a y value of negative 2. How do we find our x values? Go back to any one of the original equations. So well, let's look at the first one. It seems to be the one that's the nicest. We're going to take the negative 2, put it in for the y, square it, and we'll have x squared plus 4 is equal to 8, or x squared is equal to 4, which implies x is equal to not just 2, plus or minus 2. Don't forget your plus minus if you're doing the square root. So much of our old skills are being called upon here. So what are the two solutions to this? One is 2, negative 2, and the other is negative 2, negative 2. That's where those two circles are intersecting one with another. They're asking you to graph it in the homework. For the speed sake, I'm not going to be doing that um, in these videos but these circles are intersecting in a way that they have two points of intersection so most likely it looks like that and this is your uh, negative two negative two and this is your two negative two point going through but what's most important is you have that understanding of what they were just by looking at their general forms